All right, we're back. Uh, we're going to talk today about brushing because what I'm finding is a lot of people say, oh my God, I brush twice a day. I brush three times a day. I look in their mouth and there's always plaque laying around. And they'll always be like, well, I just ate something. I go, well, this isn't food. This is plaque. Plaque takes 24 hours to form. So that means you've missed it for 24 hours. So we're going to talk a little bit about how to brush. So it becomes very important. You almost, let's call it brushing the gums. You've got to brush down the gums, especially if you have crowns in the crown margin. So let's look really quickly what I'm talking about by brushing the gums. Here we're looking at a model. We have this oversized toothbrush and an oversized mouth. And here's what I'm saying. Your bristles need to point at a 45 degree angle and they need to go, you need to be going back and forth or little circles so those little fingers of that brush are literally going in and cleaning what we call the gingival line right here. Okay, there's a little tiny pocket in there that you need to go back and forth like this. You see how my bristles are working their way up inside that gum there in between the teeth? And then as we do it, we go back and forth and we keep going around the arch. We go around the arch and we get all of that area. Here's what a lot of people do, they brush like this. If you're brushing like this, you've just missed. See, the bristles never get to the gum area. You've got to get up to that gum area, guys. You've got to do it. If you don't keep that clean, you'll start getting cavities and gum disease. So all the way around, okay? All the way around we brush there. And we do the same thing on the inside. We point our brush like this and we go like this, okay? And then we brush the fronts and that and then the tops again, okay? So we need that 45 degree angle going up toward the gums, all right? And that's how we brush. And you should do it in a systematic way. Brush upper right to the front, to the upper left, to the lower left, to the front, to the lower right. Do it systematically. It should take you two to three minutes if you're doing it correctly, and then we brush the tongue, okay, when we do that. Lastly, real quickly, this stuff right here, this is called dental floss. This is called dental floss. A lot of people, you know, have this sitting around. I think they use it to hang Christmas ornaments, okay? But it's not for that. It's to clean your teeth, okay? Because the brushing I just showed you brushes the outside and the inside of the tooth. But what about in between the teeth where they touch each other? A lot of people get cavities there because they don't floss properly. So when you floss, I'm gonna put this down here so I can show you here. You take the floss and you, you put it you put it on your social finger, okay, on both sides. You wrap it around your social finger like this, and then you use your thumb and finger to, to steer the floss inside your mouth, okay? And when you do it, let's get down in here here, you go into the space, and this doesn't, just going in and out like this doesn't make sense. You've gotta go in, you make a C, and then you go up and down. Up, you see how I literally go below the gum? Okay, up and down. And then when you get done with that tooth, you go on the other side, you make another C, and you go up and down. Look at, below the gum it goes. Okay, up and down. You come out, you go to the next space. Okay, you go around, floss. You make a C on the other side, floss. Up and down, you don't shoe shine. It puts grooves in the teeth, okay? Up and down, and then you do that for each tooth. Yeah, I promise you, if you learn to do this and you learn to stir it, you get you get a piece that gets frazzled, you take it off of one finger, take it off of here, you have a whole new area to floss it, okay? So, it's really important. People ask me what's the most important thing to preserve the crowns and stuff I do for them. The most important thing is the patient because every day they're cleaning those teeth and they're flossing the teeth. Clean, brush properly, floss properly, you will have the teeth for the rest of your life. So.